Oh, <laughs> hey there. So I heard that you're looking for a happy and hopeful fantasy book. Something with quirky characters and a fun and lighthearted story that you don't have to think too much about. I have the perfect book for you. If you're anything like my grandma, then you're wanting something that doesn't kill off or maim all of your favorite characters. Everyone lives and gives a good old handshake to each other at the end, and they all go home to their families. You don't want any real stakes in your fantasy, and I get that. You're tired of your expectations being subverted at every turn. You just want your heroes to be heroes. White caped crusaders who fight for good and are never selfish, who pull themselves up by their bootstraps just like our founding fathers intended and... Oh. Hang on, I, I gotta take this. Hey, I'm, uh... I'm in the middle of something here. Yeah, yeah, I'm telling them about uh, Legends and Lattes. What? No, that was supposed to be next week. This is a completely different audience that clicked on this video. You can't do that. But that, that book has prostitutes with missing appendages, man. This isn't the audience for that. Fine, but you owe me. Uh, <laughs> bit of a bit of a mix up here. Um, so I know that you wanted the book with the uh, goblins drinking tea while getting a pedicure and complimenting each other on their particular shade of green or whatever it is that they do. Um, but but. Does a bar that serves roadkill alley cat and wholesale murder sound appealing instead? I, the main character sleeps in a bathtub, which would be kind of quirky and fun, except it's actually the only way he can keep his PTSD at bay. Uh, and it's in a whorehouse. And a big shout out to our first Night Angel tier patron, Shad Zaman. Thank you so much, man.